Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela. La planning diva. <laughs> I did that for you, Amy. That is so funny, Amy. And y'all in the comments saying that y'all having a blast with my intro. Sometimes I question myself. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a little bit too much. But y'all just reminded me that I just need to live my best life. Hi, hello, welcome everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry I have been a little bit MIA for the last couple of days. Things have been hectic, busy, preoccupied, occupied, just so much going on. Because I've been prepping to leave to Albuquerque, New Mexico for a week for the premier conference in our field, the Conference of Evolution. And I've decided that I'm going to take you all along with me for the ride because it is going to be a good time. And I just want to get into the habit of vlogging more, showing what I'm doing in real life, in real time, and what my planners help me achieve. So we're in uniform. I have my iced coffee here because <laughs> I went to sleep at 1 in the morning and I woke up at 6 in the morning. Again, I do not respect nor condone nor approve this behavior because we should all be trying to get a good night's sleep. But as I said, I've been prepping to go to Evolution, a million and one things to do before I leave for this huge conference, leave for a week, <sighs> and today is day one of the adventure. And we're just getting started. So this is why the mega cup of coffee had to come out today. Anyways, I need to leave by 11.30 to get up to Riverside where I work. Um, by 1 p.m. I'm joining my lab there. We're, we rented a van and we're road tripping out to Flagstaff, Arizona. We're gonna camp there a night, sample some ants. We are an ant lab. We study ant behavior, ecology, genetics, evolution, and there is a particular species of ant that lives in the Flagstaff, Arizona area. So we're taking advantage of the road trip out to New Mexico to stop by and collect some ants for our future studies. So it's gonna be a day. It is currently about 9.30 in the morning. Yes, 9.30. And I just beat the mug. It's been a while since I've done my makeup. And I still need to do a million and one things. I have sort of packed. I'm about halfway done packing. Um, but I need to go walk the pugs. I need to water the garden. I need to do like a couple of chores. So million and one things. But I am almost done with this coffee. So that means that I am full of energy and ready to go. Okay, so let's get into it. But before I go, let me show you this. Isn't this amazing? Oh my god! This is my Snorlax plushie. I found him in Target and as soon as I saw him, I knew I needed him in my life. He's so cute and squishable. And uh, again, thank you to my wonderful boyfriend, Steven. He bought me this beautiful plush. He saw I wanted it, and then when we went to the checkout, he was like, no, 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 I got this. And uh, he's so cute, I love him so much. He's been my sleeping buddy since Steven has been away in Lithuania. He's so big and fluffy. I love him so much. Anyways, let's go walk the bugs. Ready to go for a walk, babies? All right, let's do this. <sighs> okay, come on. Let's get your harnesses on. Come on, Daisy. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's get your harness on. Good girl. Daisy loves putting on her harness. She loves going for walks. Bugs also loves going for walks, but he doesn't like putting on his harness. Come here. Come here, Bugs. Treat. Treat. Come on. Come on. Hey. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's so much better. How cute. You ready? All right, let's go. 
Okay, we're on our walk now with the pugs. Daisy is such a rascal on her walks. She loves to pull and bark at things. Oh, time to pee. Oh, they're both peeing. But check out the super cute patch that I got Bugs. I ironed it onto his harness. It says Zion National Park Bark Ranger. It's amazing. So we're just gonna be walking the pugs around the neighborhood. I usually walk them about maybe a little less than a mile, anywhere from like, you know, three quarters of a mile to a mile. Ooh, okay, we're back from our walk. Now we need to do a million and one things, starting off with um, as soon as I walk the pugs, I always give them their food. Food time! Let's see. And I also fill up their water bowls. They have two sets, so I need to fill up these and these. Gotta refill their water bowl. Super dirty. I gotta feed my fish. So we have cichlid pellets. These are specially made for this kind of fish. This is pumpkin, my blood parrot cichlid. She is my baby girl. She's looking so good. I also have some um, rasboras in here, some harlequin rasboras. I just have four of them. They're schooling there at the top. They eat just regular standard. Um, super colorful lakes that's what they eat and also we have some algae wafers for my bristle nose plecos that i have in here i also have tons of blue shrimp and snails for some reason never bought snails they somehow just materialized in this tank and also i need to top up this tank um, as you can see up there we're lacking like two inches of water up here and i just need to fill this up before i leave so the bucket is filling up with water in the sink and then i'm gonna add my stress coat this is what makes tap water safe to add to aquariums so i gotta add this so that's done and you can probably tell that it's a lot quieter now Okay, now we need to water the garden. This is gonna take me a minute, so let's get to it. Oof, I feel like this is a race to the finish, I'm trying to get a million and one things done before 11 o'clock, and it's currently, I think, 10.05. Okay, finished watering the garden. That took forever. And look at this. Look at this leak. The gophers work. The gopher destroyed this leak. Look at the huge chunk it took out of this leak. I'm so upset. That gopher is just eating things left and right. Ugh. Okay, and while I was watering the garden, I realized that I have squash blossoms. My squash is blooming, so that means I have to brush pollinate the flowers to ensure that they set fruit. So let's go ahead and do that. So look at this. This plant is flowering, um, and these are male flowers. You can tell because of the shape of the reproductive organ there. So whenever you have flowers like this you want to grab the pollen with a brush i didn't really get any that time let's see i wonder if i damn i don't see any on the brush i wonder if it's because i wet it Urgh. okay let's try another flower let's go to over there also check out these beautiful lilies Ooh, so pretty. And also look at this massive pumpkin. Look at these leaves. They're gigantic. Like, this is my hand, and that is the leaf. What the heck? 
Okay, moving on. I'm sorry if you're getting motion sick. Um, okay, look at these little flowers here. This is a male. And then over here, we have another male. So that's not what I wanted, honestly. I wanted there to be female flowers because it's the female flowers that give the fruit. Let's see if I can get pollen. Oh, I can't get any pollen off of this. I wonder if it's because I wet them. Okay, let's look over here. Ooh, look at this. Do you see what we have here? What the heck? Well, it seems that maybe I don't need to worry about pollinating because this bee, this beautiful squash bee, or is it a honey bee? I don't know, I can't tell. It looks kind of odd. It doesn't look like a honey bee, really. But this beautiful bee is doing a lot of pollination for me. I think it's all wet. I think it's struggling because I wet it while I was watering the garden. Oops. But nothing interesting here because these are both male flowers. Okay, let's go check out this plant right here. And we have another bee. Look at this. Look at that. It's so amazing. Yeah, I don't think this is a honey bee. I know, I know I'm supposed to be a bee expert, but there are so many different kinds of bees and honestly, a lot of them look alike. And uh, sometimes I can't tell them apart. I feel like this is a squash bee though. Look at those long antennae. Maybe it is a long horned squash bee, but it's grabbing pollen. So I don't think I need to pollinate. Well, I can't really pollinate anyway because all of the flowers are male flowers oh well so pollinating is not happening today all right let's go back inside oh look there's daisy daisy oh sheesh okay i have like 20 minutes until i have to go maybe 30 30 is pushing it but i think i might have 30 30 minutes to get my shit together i need to finish packing i need to pack my backpack so let's go ahead and do this. So this is my Kelty backpack that I'm going to bring on the trip. It's the backpack I use for every day. I love it because it is gigantic and can fit a million and one things. I have my little Shy Guy plush on it for fun. So we're gonna start off with, oops, everything that I need to pack. I'm going to be bringing my laptop, so that's going to go in the laptop sleeve in the back here. I also need to bring all of my chargers. So this is my charger bag. It's a bit of a mess, but it's where I keep all of my chargers. I don't think I'll bring my mouse. Um, I'm just going to leave this. Oop. I'm bringing my AirPods as well. So this is my charger case. Okay, and I want to bring like a huge stack of scientific papers that I've been meaning to read. Um, some of these aren't actually stapled, so I need to staple them. Okay, so this is just a diagram of the different species we work with. Um, this is about chromosomal inversions in the monkey flower species complex. This one is the evolution of male traits in social insects. This one is about super gene genotypes in the ant that we work with, Formica neoclarum. This is a short little piece um, by one of the experts in ant biology, kind of a perspective piece. This is another transcriptomic paper. This is about paternally biased gene expression in honeybees. This is another honeybee paper. This is an evolutionary paper. Uh, I've been meaning to read this one. I've only skimmed it. So, what a stack of papers. Um, oh, and then we have this one, which is about chromosomal inversions on the X chromosome. So, we're going to bring these papers. Oh my goodness, I wish I had a folder. I don't have any folders. And then, in terms of what I'm bringing for planning, I'm bringing my work planner. Um, I have it housed in this work life binder thing and um, I'm using the cozy critters and I'm thinking of taking out my teaching section so um, I'm thinking of taking out all these pages 
just to make it thinner. And I think I'll take out these hourly pages as well. I won't need those. And I'm going to take out these little guys here. These are just daily sheets, stationary stuff. I'm going to fold this and tuck it into this folder here. I feel like I want just a little bit more of filler paper. Let me go get that. Okay, I brought some stuff here. Um, I didn't realize how little of different kinds of big note paper I have. So I'm gonna remember that next time I'm at Joanne's. So I just added a couple more pages here. I've been meaning to add this bookmark with Smokey Bear My Bay into my work planner. So. I'm going to switch out this, actually no, I'm going to add this bookmark for my monthly, there we go, and then I want to bring some stickers, so I have like a huge pack of stickers um, from Happy Planner that I've just like torn out of different sticker books. It's kind of like if I have two or three pages left of a certain sticker book, I will throw away the sticker book and tear out those pages that I have left. And so I have just like a hodgepodge of stickers here. So I'm going to bring this little pack of stickers and tuck that into the folder. So that's going to be my planner that I'm bringing to the conference. Maybe I will tuck all of these papers into the back here. Will it fit? Not really, but we'll work with it. I literally have like 10 minutes left before I have to leave. I'm also going to bring my Adventure Awaits planner. This is my daily planner and this is kind of like also my on-the-go planner. If I can't bring any of my like fitness or um, meal planning or self-care wellness planners any other any of my other planners if i can't bring anything i will bring this um and this is where i'm going to write down like anything that i like notes from the day so when i come back home and i want to check in with my other planners i can just go ahead and use this as like a way to refer back to what i did each day so i can go ahead and journal so i'm bringing this baby and I'm going to I'm going to carry it in my special stuff case. Love this thing. In terms of pens and what I'm bringing for pens, um, I'm bringing my little pencil case that I bring to work. I have some Sharpie S notes, which I like using these for annotating papers that I'm reading. I have a mild liner and a more subdued color, a clean color dot marker, my Sharpie S-Gel pen. I also have this nice zebra ballpoint pen, my Sharpie permanent marker, and then a uniball. Oh, another S-Note. I think I'm going to leave my washi tape and washi cutter because I don't think I'm going to be using them too much. And I think I'm also going to leave my stapler and staples, so I'll just leave these up here. And I'm going to bring a USB drive. So that's everything I'm bringing in my little pen case. Okay, so this is my backpack. Um, I just have my wallet in there and then my laptop, my planners, and my pencil case and charger case. And what I need to add into the backpack now are a couple of accessories, random things. This is my essentials bag. It has like my contact solution, eye drops, chapstick, earring backs, um, hair ties, Advil, sunscreen, and I keep this with me close at hand in my purse or in my backpack, um, especially when I'm traveling. I have a clip. Um, two sunglasses. I love them both, so I'm bringing both. This is um, these two little Goncha Bandulce um, bags are my jewelry bags, my glasses, my reading light, 
um, some tissues and hand sanitizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all into my backpack. Okay, so it's all packed up and the only things I'm gonna add are my water bottle in here and then I'm gonna bring my reusable coffee cup on this side and then my phone and my keys in here. We'll be good to go. Okay, everyone, I think we are ready to head out. I'm here with my beautiful Toyota RAV4. Let me show you all what I'm what I packed for this trip. Okay, so this is all that I've packed. Um, I just have my denim jacket here. It is going to be 98 degrees over there, so I didn't want to bring too big of a jacket. This is the bag that I like to take when I go for like week long trips. If it's just like a three or four day trip, I'll bring my smaller bag, my smaller duffel. This is my jumbo duffel and I love it so much. Cow print gives me all the cowboy vibes. This bag right here is my camping bag. So I have my tent, my sleeping bag, and my sleeping pad all rolled into this bag here. And then we have my backpack. Um, this is gonna be my working bag. I have my laptop, my planners, um, some accessory stuff like sunglasses and jewelry bags and things like that, but mostly work stuff. My charger bag, pencil case, my daily planner. And I also have my reusable coffee cup here, which I got at Barnes and Nobles. I love it. And then on the other side, I have my water bottle, which is my life is good stainless steel water bottle, 50 ounces. Love this thing. It's all filled up, ready for the road trip. And then I also have this right here, which is my lunch bag. Um, I made some lunches for myself for today and tomorrow for the road trip. So that way I'm not eating out on the road and it's all packed in here. And I just realized that I forgot my little canvas tote. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Okay, just ran inside to grab this little tote. This is my The Very Hungry Caterpillar tote bag, canvas tote. It's super, super cute. I've had it forever and I threw it in the wash and I probably shouldn't have done that because it wrinkled up like crazy. Oh well, I still love it. Um, I'm bringing this because I'm not bringing a purse or anything. I'm just bringing my big old backpack. And this is good for if I just want to quickly like go out, throw some, you know, my wallet in here, keys, things like that. Um, so this is super nice because I can just roll it up really, really tightly and it can function as a little purse. So I'm bringing this as well. And I have added a couple of things to my keychain. These are my keys, but I've added two important additions to my road tripping keychains. I've added my little flashlight because we are going camping and my headlamp died a few days back and I just haven't been able to go to REI to get a new one. So I'm bringing this little flashlight and my Swiss army knife road trip and essential and one last thing i wanted to share with you all was i caved in and brought a sticker book i brought one sticker book this is bold and bright because it is summer and i love my bold and bright colors for summer i just thought it would be fun to bring this guy along so that is it i only brought one sticker book i brought a couple of sticker pages but this is the only sticker book i'm officially bringing so that is everything i'm gonna put this into my backpack and then we can hit the road Okay, we're ready to hit the road. Oh my goodness, finally made it to this stage. Praying to Lord Jesus, God, Buddha, Ganesha, and La Santa Muerte that I did not forget anything. Oh my goodness. I'm always so scared I'm gonna forget something. I got my cowboy hat. Gotta bring my cowboy hat to Nuevo Mexico. Live my best vaquera fantasy. And I'm actually gonna paint my nails really quickly before we go drive because I cannot be going out like this. Of course, I had to bring my 50 ounce water bottle. Look at that sticker, isn't she so cute? I love it. My kawaii concha. So we're gonna drive up there. It's gonna take me an hour, a little over an hour. And my boss just texted me saying that they're running 30 minutes late, so that's perfect because I'm also running 30 minutes late. We're gonna try to get there. Um, we're trying to leave at 1.30 now and it is currently 12 o'clock so I should get there with about anywhere from like 20 to 25 minutes early maybe less if there's a lot of traffic thankfully I don't need to stop by for gas so we're good on that account so we're right on time and actually I'm thinking that this 
vlog is already like an hour long and we haven't even left my house. This is how it goes down here on this channel. So I'm actually thinking of making this a multi-part series and just doing little vlogs like this. Like the vlog doesn't have to be the entire day. It can just be like chapters, series, episodes. Maybe this will be a two-part, three-part vlog. So with that, um, I hope to catch you in episode two of the Great Evolution Conference Road Trip. So for part two of this series, we'll start off once I arrive at Riverside after this drive. And then we're going to drive all the way to Flagstaff, Arizona and do some field work sampling some ants. So if that sounds interesting to you, then tune in. <sighs> but for now, let's get this show on the road. All right. See you later, guys. Bye.